run away from Linkin Park's hybrid theory album for me. Uh, that song is one of many, many examples on this record of why Chester is one of the uh, best rock singers of all time. Mike, can you talk about what made Chester so special from a vocalist standpoint? You know, one thing we've talked about a lot when we're talking about this period of time and this this release is that um, there's a lot of demos on mm -hmm. the on the Hybrid Theory 20 in the Hybrid Theory 20 box set, and you get a good sense of what it was like to go from. I mean, the earliest demos that are on here were by me and our friend Mark, and those are those were done with almost no gear on a cassette four track with a you know hundred dollar microphone and there you know fast forwarding through time like we we parted ways with mark we found chester we started to write songs and there was a there was a period of like experimentation where he was trying to figure out his voice for this music mm -hmm. like he had always sung he grew up singing so he had he could sing incredibly well you had a natural gift right but there was this moment where he went from singing like he here's here's what would happen like he would sing a new thing like we, we we would be writing a thing and he would sing it and then he or i or both of us or other guys could tell that he sounded like someone else so it's like oh right now you you actually are like you have a little bit of an english like a british accent right now when you're singing that mm -hmm. you sound kind of like dave gone from depeche mode or you have a little bit of like a twang like you i don't know who you're singing like but it's not you so we do this thing and he'd go yeah 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 i know i just hear it this way and then we try and like dissect it and make it like he was so i remember we were so focused on finding that thing and, and like finding his way of singing over the stuff. And we tried it, you know, as you can imagine, a billion different ways, not only on hybrid theory, but on, on albums after to try and like define his thing and then like open it up to other things that he could do. And what is so remarkable about his voice and is, is the range. Like he was really able to do, I mean, he could do, the screamiest of metal songs he could do the softest of ballads he could do an adele song he could do led zeppelin he could do, i mean there's just so many things like so much ground to cover i could throw like virtually anything at him and he'd be like oh okay like yeah i'll sing that and he'd just nail it it was crazy hey guys thanks so much for watching did you like that video you can check out more over here and don't forget to subscribe to iheart right here and if you're already a longtime fan make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video bye guys